Welcome to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to the sponsors of the channel, my boy Fast Classic. This mixtape is in the description box. It is absolutely free. Definitely give him a download, give him a listen. And my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we or from. Now, Julian J. Rock Williams, the 154-pound king from the hometown of Philly. He's going to get a home game. January 18th, 2020. It's going to be going up against Jason Rosario. Now, this is definitely a hometown feel-good fight, tune-up fight for Julian J. Rock Williams. I know they were in negotiations with Ares Landy Laura. Um, obviously, that didn't work out. I probably could see Aris Landy Laura saying, I'm not coming to Philly. I could definitely see him saying that. For some reason, Al Heyman and PBC has given Aris Landy Laura top billing. I don't know why. Um, because he doesn't bring in any fans. He doesn't bring in any money. He's a good fighter, but he just doesn't you know, he doesn't bring in he doesn't bring in revenue. You know what I'm saying? So he has hardcore fans, but he doesn't have a whole lot of fans like that's just going to bring a whole bunch of attention. But they give him main event billing like every single time. But I'm not surprised that the J-Rock and Ares Landy Laura fight didn't come to fruition. Do I have a problem with this fight? No, and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, I knew I knew this fight was coming. Um, I talked to J Rock's trainer, uh, Breadman, at the Erickson Lubin, uh, Nate Gallimore fight. You know, he was walking around. I stopped him and we we talked for a little bit, and um, he said J Rock was fighting January 18th. I know it was a rumor going around that he might be headline in the card with um with charlo and harrison but you know i was told by bray man he was going to be fighting on january 18th i just couldn't let that out the bag but the reason i don't have a problem with the opponent is strictly because people don't talk about this but j-rock did have surgery not that long ago and when you have surgery, you don't want your first fight back to be against a killer. And I'm pretty sure J-Rock can handle himself fine. And, you know, even if he put him up against Ares Landy Lar, J-Rock would still be the favorite. But you want to test things out. You know, you want to test your body out, you know, when you're coming off of surgery. When Jerry Swift Heard came off of surgery... He took a fight similar to this, and he was a champion. So this falls right in line with what Jerry Swift Heard did. So I have absolutely no problem with Jason Rosario. Um, You know, he's an okay fighter. Nothing special about him, but he's an okay fighter. This is one of those fights where J-Rock can test things out, make sure everything's cool. He gets a hometown fight, feel good fight, and he gets to put on a show in front of his hometown. So I have no problem with it. And on top of that, he's waiting for Jamel Charlo and Tony Harrison winner anyway, so he can really unify. And this would be for full unification as far as I'm concerned, um, because Jaime Munguia doesn't even count in the equation. Like He's not going to fight any of these guys. At the end of the day, and he's on the opposite side of the street, and Golden Boy's not going to send him over to any of the PBC guys. That's just what it is. So, J Rock versus the winner of Tony Harrison and Jamel Charlo, like that's going to be the ultimate unification at 154. Uh, 154 is one of my favorite divisions. J Rock is one of my favorite fighters. Um, Breadman has done a great job with j rock and trust me january 18th philly gonna be rocking and you know your boy gonna be in the building 
Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.